good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As you can see, we have been busy down here at Universal Rock, but today is the day I've been super excited about. That's right, building one of the most incredible enclosures that we ever have built, the Anaconda Enclosure. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get done today. I'm hoping we will. Got a lot of work to do. We've been working on this kind of planning for the last several days, so it's gonna be amazing. And don't get me wrong, these other enclosures are absolutely blowing my mind, but this Anaconda, that's gonna be the centerpiece of the entire new Reptarium expansion. So what do you say we just go right into it and do the best we can do, and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have an amazing enclosure. Whoa. <laughs> That's incredible, it's gonna be gigantic. So this is actually the glass part of the aquarium side for the anaconda cage. It's difficult to see because it's glass obviously, but it's gonna be about this high of water and then the rest is gonna be viewing and it goes all the way across, all the way to here. So to give you an idea, again, from this side all the way over to here, that is gonna be the front side of the enclosure. And again, to here is gonna be water, then there's gonna be a waterfall, and then there's gonna be land in the back of it. So really, if you think about it, this is about a third of the entire enclosure, just to give you an idea of the size. I know it's kind of hard to see the scale because again, it's see-through glass, but oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. And this is actually the bottom of the actual aquarium for the anaconda cage. It's actually made out of, you can see, one inch PVC material that uh, is gonna be sealed up and then ultimately cut to size there. That'll be completely sealed up. And this is again gonna be the bottom, but of course it's gonna be covered with panel so that it looks really naturalistic. So once this is glued up and actually cut to size, they'll insert it over to here in the bottom right here, and then they'll seam everything up and then we'll build the back half of the enclosure right now. Since this is elevated and you're gonna probably get into this, I gotta make sure that it's really sturdy. Yeah. I don't want the foam yeah, to provide the, the, the yeah. reality. So I gotta make sure it's sturdy enough and I gotta make sure that we make some big uh, big hole for the filter. Right. So I gotta figure out which, where you want the filter maybe, off to the side in the middle. I would say off to the side, okay. I mean, I think. Okay. Uh, I, and, and my gut feeling is, is maybe off to, what do you think, Jay? So uh, you, this side, the filter on this side or that side? Oh, yeah, so that when you buy the fish ball, yeah. Yeah, that way you can yeah, look yeah. across and see through the thing. Okay. See the, yeah, I think, that's I, the, the, okay. I think that's the call. have the next several hours to work on all this stuff because we got to get on the road heading to Mississippi of course going to be picking up a couple things I cannot wait to share with you guys definitely excited but we have to be in Mississippi tonight because tomorrow morning we're meeting with my guy to do some animal stuff and then we got to head home back to Michigan so uh, time is definitely ticking we have a lot to really button up before we leave but uh, I think uh, it's going to be amazing and uh, hey we're just only a couple weeks away from install guess what just got off the phone with Lori and uh, yeah she ended up getting some red tail boas in uh, without me, which is kind of a bummer. I don't like it when she unboxes things. So what's up guys? It's me, Noah, here with my mom. You guys know us, but <laughs> we are actually going to be doing an unboxing today. You know, we got shipping the snakes, but usually, you know, my dad does it, of course, but he's in Texas building cages for the new Reptarium. So now we have to take this as our job. I have no clue what is inside this. You ordered these, right? So no, you know. actually, this is the kicker oh. too. I didn't order these, oh. he did. Okay. So Perfect. he just called me and told me these were coming. Okay. So I'm curious myself. Yeah, so this is a super surprise for all of us here. Um, let's bang this open. <laughs> Uh, See how much nicer it is when I open? Yeah, right? I don't Stuff's feel- not flying. <laughs> Nobody's getting hurt. Right, I don't feel threatened in my life. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! These, whoa. <laughs> these are angry. Whoa! So... Yeah. Oh, no, I do not want to hold they these. They are some more boas. Whoa! They are pissed! They are. Holy crap, so they're pretty though. These whoa. are, okay, these are, I believe, Guyana red tails. Where the last oh. ones he got were Peruvians. Holy crap! Um, that's this one is really mad. Do you want to hold that one? Uh, no, I'm good. You can hold that one. <laughs> but, Holy uh, crap. There's a lot pretty. of them. This, How many yeah. did we get? I don't know. You Again, got two. I did not order. You got two men. There's probably. They're very pretty, very light. 
Yeah. Nice patterns, nice pretty red tail. Looks like there's at least okay. 12. All right. Well, maybe like 10. I think I have all my pieces together now. And then it's just literally like a, a jigsaw puzzle trying to figure out where everything goes because again, it's not like the normal cage. There's all kind of braces and, and of course supports and, and uh, wow, but look at the size of this enclosure. And again, the actual water feature is on this side here. So this is gonna be, this is all the land area for Ivy. This whole area here. Oh my God, this cage is next level. But uh, getting this together is gonna be a little tricky. Take a look at the size of this anaconda cage. Again, the ground is gonna be right here. There'll be a waterfall actually right over here. And then this, the rest of the octagon is water right here. So there's a big water reservoir right here. And then this will be all land. This back here will all be a backdrop, like, you know, rock fixtures and vines, making it look kind of like the Amazon. And then we're gonna get into glass, glass, and the whole front side is glass. But this Take it, look at the size of this. This is definitely the crown jewel of the entire thing for sure. So uh, still have to put it all together here, uh, get the floor in it, and then eventually get Stuart to rock this all out, get the filter in, all this stuff, make this land all 100%, and then we can actually add the aquarium on it. These are getting shipped in two separate pieces. This, because we just can't get it in. It's so big, we can't get it in the actual building. So we'll get this in the building, set it up, then bring in the tank, set it up on this, attach everything, kind of get it all together, but oh my god this is this is the crown jewel of their new reptarium for sure oh yeah this is what else do we got another here? angry bag oh nice more angry boas why did they have to order so many angry boas <laughs> i don't know i don't Dang. i don't know because they're pretty but they are uh, really we weren't uh, expecting angry well now, i mean they've just shipped so they can just now eat. let's see what kind of, are these Oh, uh, it looks the like same. the same. Dad, yeah, why did you send us so many of these angry little guys? <laughs> angry wiggly boas. Okay. But they are very pretty. Wow, look at that. Get a look at that right there. Whoa, their eyes are really, really cool. Oh yeah, Brazilians are beautiful animals. But yeah, it looks like there was just a handful of these too. So uh, yeah, a small but um, exciting, pretty. exciting shipment. Exactly. Um, yeah. A bunch of angry boas and some So last screw for this one. Uh, floor is in. This thing is uh, it's absolutely amazing mammoth. So, okay, gonna have to flip it upside down now, screw the bottom in, and then this enclosure is done as far as my part. Then off to Stuart, get that fixtured out, glass gets done, so uh, it's gonna be pretty amazing. Super light, man. I tell you what, this is, uh, I could probably move this myself. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Well, we aren't able to actually get the enclosure done, unfortunately, because we're just running out of time. There's no way we can fix it out, get it all done, but I wanted to give you guys the overview of how this is gonna look. The glass up front here, this is gonna be the water feature. This is the land feature. Again, a waterfall right here. Uh, of course, this glass will be a little bit lower to the bottom, obviously, but I wanted to give you guys the kind of overview of how <laughs> insane that enclosure is. Again, I was hoping that we could see something in short too, but guess what, guys? We're just gonna have to wait till we get it in the rep so the next time I see this enclosure, you guys are gonna see this enclosure when we're loading in just a couple weeks. Holy cow, that one is beyond what my wildest imagination was. This thing turned out insane. One of the tough things about you know putting all this blood, sweat, and tears into building these is that when I leave, I gotta leave them here. They're gonna be back at the Rep Terrav in a couple weeks, but you know what? I'm thinking I've gotta try to take at least one thing home. So I'm gonna try to finish up this arboreal cage and see if it can actually fit in the back of my van. I'm not sure if it can, but uh, we're gonna just have to put the top on and the door on, and hopefully we can take this sucker home and and install the first cage at the new expansion. The other cages we were able to actually get inside yeah, and we're drill, not able to get but to now that. we can't get inside to actually attach the hinges, so we've got a little bit of a dilemma here. A ladder, let's go. And that's what this all is about, is problem solving, you know? Like, this is all one-off stuff, so it's never been made before. So, obviously, we're gonna have issues, and uh, you just have to solve the problems as they come. It is, guys. Uh, wrapping up here at Universal Rocks. Here in a couple weeks, we're gonna be loading up all of the enclosures into the Reptarium. It's gonna be amazing. Did a lot of work, got a lot accomplished. So excited about this whole thing. But uh, my time here is done. I'm heading to Mississippi to grab some amazing animals. I cannot wait to share with what I'm getting with you tomorrow. So make sure to tune in. If you enjoyed this video, can you do me a favor? Subscribe to my podcast right up here. I think you'll like this. Over here, you can roll through an entire playlist of vlogs if you so choose. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button for the vlog. Turn the post notification on. Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.